tired of wasting hours going through lengthy content, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to reveal four incredible tools that can summarize anything for you. So if you're someone who scrolls through endless pages online, reads PDFs, watches long YouTube videos, then you can stop wasting your time right now because these tools can summarize any content starting from websites, documents, videos, audios to pretty much anything that you can think of. It'll help you focus only on the content you need. So without any delay, let's get into the video. To begin, what is summarizing? In simple terms, it's cutting down the lengthy information into the most relevant and important parts. So if you're someone who watches a lot of YouTube videos, then this tool is for you. With Vidrapid, you can summarize any YouTube video and it'll give you the main points in just a paragraph of text. You don't need to watch the entire video to learn about the content. So to get it, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Click Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension and it's done. Once you've added the extension, just go to the YouTube video you want to summarize, refresh the page and Vidrapid will appear on the page like this. Now just sign in with your Google account. And if you click summarize, you can see that it has created a short summary of the entire video. Also, you will get the key points and the timestamps for all the topics covered in the video. If you want to watch a specific part of the video, simply click the timestamps here to skip ahead and directly watch that portion. It features a 16-core CPU and a 40-core GPU, and it now supports up to a massive 128 gigabyte of unified memory. Now, if you don't want to read the summary, you can just listen to it by clicking here. The video introduces the new MacBook Pro with M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. And if you go here, you can see the entire transcript of the video. Now, the cool part is that it works even without an extension. So let's take any video you want. I'm going to summarize this course video. So just go here and type some before YouTube. Now press enter and you'll be automatically taken to the Vid Rapid page where you'll get the summary of the video. All right, so now we saw how to summarize a video. Next, let's see how to summarize a website. So let's say you came across this website, which has many pages. It'll take a lot of time for you to go through it and read every single page, right? So there's this free extension called Glimpse that will quickly go through the website and give you a short summary of it. To see how it works, just click the link below this video and then you will get this extension. Click Add to Chrome and click Add Extension. Now if you click here, you can see that we have got the extension. You can also pin it by clicking here. Now let's see how you can summarize a website. Just go to the website which you want to summarize. Then click on the Glimpse extension. You can see that it has opened up on the right side of our screen. From here, we can easily get the summary of this website. So let's click Summarize. And you can see that it has given us a quick summary of this website. But wait, let me show you one more cool thing you can do. You can also chat with it and get the information you want. You can see that it has replied to your question and it also highlights the important details which we can read easily. Amazing, right? So this is how you can summarize a website and easily get the information you need. Next, let's see a really interesting tool called Any Summary. This is a tool that can summarize any content in any format. Let's say you have an Excel sheet full of data or a long text document. This tool can give you a summary of it. Not only that, it can even summarize websites, videos, audio files, PDFs and more. Let me show you how it works. Just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this site. Here you can add any file and it'll summarize it. So let's say you have a lengthy audio file and you want to summarize it. So all you have to do is just drag and drop the audio file here and you can see that it has given us a summary. Also you will get more options here like select the language of the summary or you can select any of these and it'll summarize for you. So if you go to custom summary, here you can specify what exactly you want to summarize. Then click here and you will get the summary. Or you can also choose if you want a short summary or a detailed one. 
In the same way, you can summarize any file type you want. So let's say you have an Excel sheet with a lot of data and you want to find out some specific information from it. For example, I have data about my company's sales and I just want to know how much I made in total. So all you have to do is just drag and drop the Excel sheet and you can see that we have got the summary of the Excel sheet. Now if we go here, you can also ask questions to find the info you want. Also, we have some pre-made questions here. Just copy the one you want and click here. You can see that we've got the answer. Similarly, you can also ask your questions and it'll give you the answer. Okay, using the free version of any summary, you can summarize up to three different files per day. And if it is an audio file or a video file, you can upload it for a maximum of 15 minutes. Or if it's a document or a PDF, you can upload up to 100 pages per file and a maximum file size of 10 MB. Okay, let's move on to the last tool where we will see how you can get summary of any book. So let's say you found an interesting book, but you don't have the time to read the entire thing. Instead, you just want the information or a brief summary of the book. In Gravity Write, we have an amazing tool that can take any book and give you a brief summary of it. So you can save a lot of time, right? To see how it works, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now here you need to enter the title of the book and the name of the author. Then click here and you will find different types of summary options to choose from. If you want a brief summary, you can choose this option. Or if you want a chapter wise summary, you can choose this one and click create content. You can see that it has generated the summary of all the individual chapters of the book. If you want to have a detailed summary of a particular chapter, you can ask that too. So let's click on the drop down and choose other. Then type the chapter you want and click create content. And you can see that it has generated a detailed summary of the chapter we asked for. Now if you find this book interesting or if it has some information that you need, you can go ahead and read the book. Okay, so that's it guys. These are the four awesome tools to summarize anything from a website, book, video, audio, or to any type of file. So let me know in the comment section which tool you found interesting. Also, if you'd like to write a blog with a plagiarism, you can check out this video. Or if you're interested in learning the best AI tools for YouTube videos, then you can watch this video. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Website Learners for more content like this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.